Hello, hello. How are you today, tonight? It is 6.51. Look at how dark it is. 6.51. It started getting dark around 5.50, around that time. I think daylight savings time, or what is it? Daylight savings time? I think it's about to happen. Um, yeah, it's 6.51. Just got myself in the car. I feel like this is a good time. <laughs> I did very good with my collections. I have gotten so good with my timing. Like minute, I know exactly what minute I have to be at each box, like to make it on time. I know when I have time to spare. Like if I wanted to check my phone or check an email. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I actually like collections. At first, I thought it was the devil, but now I love it. I really do um, and I would like to stay on collections okay that's why <laughs> I'm trying to get like really good with my time and like perfect they want me to um, be at this plant at 630 well today I was here at 629 I like it because they only give me a certain amount of mail I can only carry at most three and a half hours now I mean, it's hard sometimes if I don't know the route, which I'm learning the routes, but it's hard sometimes if they do give me three and a half hours to get it done, because I have to get it done. Um, but, and then I have to start collections. I don't know, I like it, I really do. I just, I really like it. Um, but I think that I'm gonna be training somebody um, this week, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be training somebody, but hopefully, He'll get on board with, we have to move, we have to go. You know, we have to go, we have to be on time, we have to be at this box. I can, I go to the airport every day. I can park my vehicle and get in that airport, grab the mail and come back in less than three minutes. Now when I say I'm very, I'm getting fast, it's not that I'm driving fast. I don't drive any fa I drive the speed limit. And uh, let me tell you something, today two people, big trucks, two people almost ran right in the back of me because I don't speed if it's 35 miles an hour I'm probably going 30 I'm just I don't know I'm weird about that ever since I got in that accident with that t-bone I don't anyway yeah two trucks like near nearly rear-ended me like what in the holy hell I honked my horn and looked at them like like what is wrong with pe anyway um, it is 7 o'clock and I'm going home. I'm going to pick up Maddie and I'm going to take her to Ikea and we're going to have dinner there. Just because I just want to try to do little things with her. I don't get a lot of time with her. She's my best friend. I love her to death. I mean, she's also my daughter. When I say she's my best friend, you know, you know what I'm saying. I can differenti differentiate the two. Mother, daughter, best friend. I know. Um, but I just want to spend some time with her. She's uh, going through, she's going through something right now. And... You know, I'm trying to make her feel better. But anyway, I hope you're having a good day. We're going to vlog. And I guess that's it. Let's go. Okay, we're not going to Ikea. I came home. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, but she didn't want to go. So, you know, we're going to stay here. I, I ordered her some uh, Chinese food. So, there's that. Anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so, it is 7 o'clock. Um... We're going to eat, play some Roblox, hang out, and then start over again. But yeah, I do like collections. I really do. I don't know. I, I just like the routine of it, I guess. Um, but look what I found, guys. I found some. I think these are winter pants. They're really thick. Like, they have a different material than the regular. The other pants are thin. They're very thin. But these are thick. I found these in the break room at um, my post office, so um, I'll have to hem them, of course, but they say they're my size, um, which is a 34 men's that fits comfortably. I mean, the next size is 31, and I'm not, I'm not that, <laughs> so I like the men's pants because the ladies' pants run small. I mean, they are very small. I can wear a size 10 jeans, no big deal. But a size 10 in the women's pants, not going to happen. Anyway, so I'm excited. I'm ready for uh, winter. I do have, a, I don't have a lot, but I have 
good pieces for winter, but there um, is another carrier who does collections that I see every day, like in passing, and he is getting ready to retire. Nobody knows, but he is. And he has some uh, uniform allowance that he isn't going to use, and he told me I could use it, that he'll order what I, what I would like. He'll use his allowance, order it, and give it to me, which is so nice because he said he has more than enough. I hear that some carriers do that um, if they have, they've already gotten what they need and they have, because you get an allowance every year uh, that they'll order for the CCAs. Anyway, so he gave me the booklet and he said that I had $150 to use. And I said, are you sure? Because he said he had like $250. Anyway, so he said $150. So I went big. And I said, is, is this going to be okay if I use $150? Like, do you, are you sure you don't mind? Maybe I should bake him some cookies. I should probably do that. Like bake him some cookies or something. Maybe some brownies. I should do that. I think that I think that would be a nice gesture because he's very nice. I ordered, well, I mean, he hasn't, it, he's going to order it. Um, I didn't order it. It is a winter jacket and it's $150 on the, on the dot. Um, I do have a... I think they're called a bomber jacket, and then I have a vest to go with it. But this is, it's a parka, I think, like a big giant, big jacket, really thick. It's got like fleece inside. I'll show it to you. This, this guy right here, insulated parka, iron tough Kodura nylon, saber cloth, outer fabric. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I'm super excited. I think that's so nice. But you see, this stuff is expensive. Very expensive. Um, yeah. I think that this is this is what I have. This guy. I got this guy's jacket. And then I got this guy's vest. <laughs> so combined, I think that it will be warm. Anyway, I thought that was super sweet. Um, super nice. So yeah, I think, I think I should like bake him some cupcakes or do something. Like some kind of baked good is what I need to do. Um, but anyway, I just want to go ahead and say hello, tell you what I'm doing. I want to try to vlog because I miss, missed you guys and uh, I want to catch you back up on things. But yeah, I think these are winter pants. I've been painting my nails. I have on Sundays. They don't last long, but it just it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like something I would normally do was paint my nails. And it just makes me feel better. Uh, so I've been painting my nails. And... Um, taking more showers <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway um yeah anyway guys i hope you're having a good night uh are you ready for halloween what are your kids going to be for halloween let me know maddie is going to be brennan yuri um panic at the disco um the song i write sins not tragedies haven't you people ever heard of closing the damn door no mm -mm -mm. that when he was dressed up like that Anyway, uh, I'm going to go and I will probably come back and talk to you in a little bit because I miss you guys and there are things that I need to talk about, things I need to get off my chest, um, nothing bad or anything, um, just some things, but yeah. So I'm going to go in there with Maddie, wait for this Chinese food, which I know, I know, it's not keto. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog. It's after 10. I am tired. I'm going to bed. Uh, they've been doing route inspect. Well, they started a route inspection last week, and now this week, um, all these people are at our station and they're walking with the carriers this week. So it seems to be a lot, and it seems to be very stressful for the regulars. So I just run in, I grab my mail, I leave. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, last week was a good week. It's, it's just a lot. And I know that I say that all the time, but it is, I don't think I, I could, I didn't fully understand, even though I prepared myself for how much this was going to be, even though I'm about 10 months in, you know, you would think I'm used to it, but I mean, every day, every week is different and it, it just, I don't know. I guess maybe I'm at the point where like I'm realizing like how much this is, but I wouldn't change it. I love it. I love it. I love the job. I love being able to pay my bills like on time. I love that part. Um, but it's just, it's a lot. If Maddie was little, like a baby, I wouldn't be able to work there. I wouldn't. 
it wouldn't happen. I, I don't, I don't know how, I know that some carriers do it and I don't know how they do it. I couldn't do it, especially like if you're a single mom with a little baby, I don't know. But anyway, uh, right now, what am I doing? I am watching the walking dead from the beginning. I started over <laughs> season one. They had 10 seasons, so it's all like brand new because it was so long ago. But yeah, I'm watching The Walking Dead season one. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good week. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday and I'm hoping for a smooth day. <laughs> I've been delivering mail at the beach, which I hated. I hate it because it's confusing. There's a lot of apartments, a lot of duplexes that don't have numbers. They're not labeled. You got all these apartments with mailboxes with no numbers, like literally. So I'm like, what, what are you supposed to do? There's like literally no numbers on these mailboxes, no numbers on the doors. I don't know anyway, but now since they've had me out there, I'm used to it. Not the number, not the numberless doors, <laughs> but I'm getting used to being out at the beach. It's just a different feel. Now, when I say the beach, I'm not talking about the fancy ritzy part. I'm talking about the other part, <laughs> which is, can be a little rough. It's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope tomorrow is a smooth day. It's supposed to be like 67 I think, I think we're good. <laughs> I think the hot weather is gone, except for Thursday, it's going to be 80 and that is Halloween and that Halloween, um, I am not going to be able to take Maddie trick or treating. Brian is going to take, I think I might've told you, Brian's going to take her or I'm going to have my good friend take her. Um, because I, at first they said I could switch so I could get off early, like in time to take her. But I guess with a route inspection, I can't, I don't know. So that sucks because I get off at, by, by the time I'm done getting in my car, it's seven o'clock. And, you know, typically we would trick or treat from like six to eight. So it's stuff like that. Like I, I can't get off early, like, you know, and I have to accept it and it sucks. Like stuff like that sucks. Um, yeah, like when I think about it, it's like, damn, I can't even take her trick or treating. I mean, she's going to go, but I don't know. I'll probably try to meet up with them like as soon as I get off and find them wherever they are and, you know, walk with her if there's time, but stuff like that. I know that I'll be working Christmas Eve. I already know that. So, it's just, you know, I guess you got you got to go through all this crappy stuff to get to the good stuff where next year, hopefully I won't be, you know, I can get off for Halloween or and I won't be working Christmas Eve, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so Halloween is Thursday and I can't go. <laughs> um, last year I was a police officer and we went trick or treating and I lost my child while well, she was with Eva and Eva's dad and I got like separated and lost. And I, I, the whole time they were trick or treating, I was looking for them. <laughs> and then since I, I looked like a legitimate cop and the neighbor, when I was walking through the neighborhood, people actually thought I was a police officer. So this year I'm probably going to be doing the same thing, searching for my child in a, in a male man uniform. And they're probably going to think that I'm just dressed up as a male man, <laughs> but this year I'll actually be what I am, like what I'm wearing, a male man. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to go, I'm going to go lay in my bed, put my earphones in, um, grab one of my 55 cats and make them sleep with me and, uh, watch Walking Dead season one when Glenn was still alive and Daryl had very short hair. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you guys and I hope you're having a good day. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I will try to vlog again tomorrow. Bye everyone.